Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games and a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. If you'd like to see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Pro Cycling Manager 2019. It's the Pro Cyclist mode, and it's our stage racer, episode number 9. Riding into the final stage of the Ronde de Lissard. It's an under 23 category race. And through the first three stages, I have won two of those stages. And I am the overall race leader. And I actually lead every category. Got one stage left here to hold on. And we we'll try to see if we can't get a third stage victory in four tries. Uh, but... It's not as much of a given without the mountaintop finish of that descent in between, which means I would need to be a ways clear at the top of the final climb in order to win the stage. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, starting with, I think, the second climb, I'll use my team to start putting some pressure on the field, split the field up a bit, and then by the third climb, we'll try to just ride our pace and see if we can't drop everyone before the top and go over the top all alone. Well, that's the plan anyway. See how big of a gap we have at that point. The descent, until I actually get a look at the profile on the close-up, once we enter the stage, I won't know how steep that final descent is, so we'll look here in just a moment. I love how there's a bench there. Nobody's sitting in the bench. They're too excited. They're all standing up right now. Okay, I do have full team support. That's always good. And Oh, yeah, that, that's a pretty steep descent, so... Uh, I will be able to recover, recover before hitting that final few kilometers at the very end of the stage to go up for the win. Uh, that final climb really isn't that steep. It's the second... Ooh, it is the second climb that's going to determine this race, not the third. The third's not that steep. And the second climb, you're going to recover before the bottom. So really, by the second climb I should be all alone. You know, I'm going to use up my team pretty quickly. Now let's see, i got to find the guy who's in second. He's the only one we need to pay attention to. He's the only one in any range whatsoever. Let's take a look real quick at the rankings. Yeah, Felix Gall, 57 seconds down. It's seven minutes to Champesson in third. There's Gall. He's borrowing the green jersey. And we're going to... Observe. I just... I've had no luck in using the Observe button. I love this new feature to the game, but seriously, it never works. There's Foss. Uh, we'll check in on him later. Uh, we'll ride with him for a little bit up through this first climb. It's a minute and a half to seven breakaway riders. They quickly opened up a healthy enough gap. Foss is fourth overall, so... I would love it if I could get some decent information on him. Which I've not been able to get. Clappison, flat. He's got the puncture. And there we go, over the top. First climb already done. No action yet. Other than that the breakaway is now 3 minutes 42 seconds ahead, but that's not going to be a big deal. Ooh, Foss has dropped back a little ways here. Come on, come on. Give me that next level. You're nearly there, nearly there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Just a little bit more. Just a bit. 
Oh, what are you waiting for? There it is. Observe. Hey, look at that. I finally got adequate information on a, on a writer for a change. All right. Uh, well, slow down at times one because here we go. The real climb and the real race starts right here. So why wait? It's 98 kilometers. It's not that far. Uh, but we do want to wait for Vandertook. Vandertook's right there. Come on, Vandertook. I don't have control of you right now, so I can't force you to get up to where Vandenberg is. But get everybody some water, that's what I'm waiting for. Once he has managed to do that, wow, he is just making no effort to actually get through the field here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, everybody's got water. Freeze. Okay. Sprint train style. I'm the strongest. <laughs> My team is not, but I'm the strongest. And we're going to set more than an 84. We're going to go, I don't know, 87? No, let's do 88. I want to do some damage. I want to blow this race up. This is going to be fun. <clears throat> okay, Vandenberg... 66 climber. It's nice that I have some information on him. Vander took 63. He's going to be one of the first ones. Vandenberg also weaker. Bowman's is decent. And Duel is supposedly the next best one. And then Bootsfeld I know nothing about. So I'm going to follow Vandenduel. You're going to follow Bowman's even though he is on a minus four. Let's see, was it Berg? Van, yeah, Van Nienberg. And her took. I know nothing about Bootsfeld, but Vandenberg's in a much better place, so we'll send Bootsfeld first. He's going to ride out at an 88 here. Vandenberg, there's the Thander Took. Vandenberg. Come on, Bowman's, where you at? <coughs> Most races, this would not work. This is in under 23s. Come on, Van Duel. Right oh, have they now? <laughs> That's what you think. All right, there we go. Full team. Bootsfeld doing a little bit of damage to a couple of these guys. So Bootsfeld apparently is a decent climber, but job nearly done. 14 and a half kilometers to the top of this climb. Okay, Bootsfeld. He's done. Vandenberg. Hey. Vandenberg. Thank you. And even though Bootsfeld is partially recovered, he's already struggling, so yes. Damage starting to be done, you can see we apparently haven't dropped riders. Bowman seems to be struggling a bit more than these other guys. I'm going to move Bowman's up the line and make Bowman's go next. Speaking of, it's his turn. Vandenberg is done. 
So him to auto and his hat boot fell to auto down to 70 riders. Yeah, I was right about Bowman's. Very weak. The base is rather slow. The riders must be saving some energy for later. Bowman sits that minus four race take condition. It's not that he can't climb. That he can't climb today. <laughs> Oh, 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 Vandenberg. No, no, no. Oh, come on. It's broken. Ay, ay, ay. There. Okay. Or not. There. Okay. We want Vanaduel following Vander Took. And then I'm going to follow Vander Took. Okay, Vander took. Finish your turn on the front. By the way, the Peloton's down to 22 riders. So yes, I'm shattering my team, and very early in this stage. But I'm a strong enough climber to leave these guys alone. I'm going to leave him on front just a little bit longer, and just push him to whatever his 99 is here. Because uh, we have this little bit of a downhill, and as soon as we go uphill again, Vanaduel's going to take his turn. Which is now. Wow, Vandenberg's still here. Alright, Vanaduel. Now, you're going to go a little bit softer. We're going to go an 86. For one thing, he is a better climber. And should still continue to do some damage. And actually, what I'm going to do now, as the group gets a little bit smaller, I'm going to let him relax. And we're going to swap this. He's going to follow me. And I'm going to go. I'm just going to go at a nice little steady 84, which is going to be harder for him to keep up with than for me. We'll see if he can hang on. 17 riders. 16 riders. It's still 3 kilometers to the top, so I think he's actually not going to make it. He just dropped off my wheel. We'll ride with him for a little bit, see how everybody else is doing here. I like that he's holding up a few of these guys. We're about to see a split, and it's down to 10. Down to 6. Pick up two stragglers. Oop. Down to 2. And guess who it is? It's Gaul. That's right, mano a mano, going for it, again. So by the end of the second climb, we've got a two-man show. Breakaway of two riders still ahead, but only just. And there we go, over the top, we're clear, and I'm just going to cruise. Watch out. A team leader is falling behind. Okay, we're back up to four, and that's okay. Vanduul is about a minute 40 behind. Definitely are getting some of these guys coming back, and I expect that there will be some more. Uh, Champusen, I still don't have another. He'll be that next guy because he's the one in third. 
So we go back up to eight riders here. Van and Duel should actually get back in the group before we hit the bottom here. Just 20 seconds. There we go, 15 riders and Van and Duel is now going to pick it up. So it's just 15 riders with one climb left to go. And I easily had it down to just two of us. And you can see Van and Duel, right? Almost no energy. For me, I've got plenty. So, a lot of these guys are not going to be recovered. It's going to be really easy to bring this group back down. Come on, come on. Give me that level so that I can focus back in on what I'm doing here. There it is. Oh, and of course, it fails. Now, we're almost to the bottom. I'm back to full strength. And there's your group. 16 riders to duke it out. Two riders left off front, and their gap is opened back up by about a minute and a half. They're back out to 240. Hit the bottom here. Little sprint point. Not worried about getting the last point there. Just going to take that climb. Now, this last climb was a lot more severe. This one's not as steep, so it's not going to do as much damage. But, like I said, guaranteed, most of these riders are not going to be a strong side. But you can see Vander Vanderduel, in the end, has for the most part recovered and I lost control of him because he's going back to get water I don't have control so I can't tell him to make that simple move around the outside come on come on Vanduul you are getting water remember oh you're still going backward he hasn't even gotten the water yet Great. Now now the next group just came back on. Now we've got 29 riders. Vandertook came with it. But Vandenduel going back to get water without getting water took all the pace out of the group. As soon as he takes care of the water there we go. Alright, so here we go again. We're going to set this to about 87, everyone. And it's going to go Van and Duel, Van der Took. Still a small group, it's just 29 riders here. Van der Took. Get her started. Oh, hey, Vanaduel, where are you going? You were right there on my right shoulder. And then you decided to ride behind these guys. That makes a lot of sense. Ooh, four and a half minutes to those lead two riders. It's going to be a little difficult to catch them now. Vanaduel still not really on Vandertook's wheel. It's a little annoying. There he goes. All right, we've already dropped one rider, and we've still just barely started climbing. Speed things up here for a little bit. It's Vandertook does his thing. It's 22 kilometers. This is a very long climb. And Vandertook done. Auto. Relax. Effort. Alright, Bandit Duel. He only managed to drop two riders, Vander took. Not the strongest of climbers. And then 87 isn't the hardest pace either. But we're still only five kilometers up the climb so far. Vander took dropped. But only four riders have gone out the back. But the gap to the front has just crumbled. It's down to a minute. And he's done. So away I go. I'm just going to set an 84. Just a nice steady pace. And actually, that was not necessarily on me. Vanduul pretty much cracked half this group. But they didn't drop until the same time that he dropped from energy. So there's the front two caught. I've got 11 other riders left with me. 
my 84 pace is too much for most of them. I do have that hills as well, but I don't have much resistance, so you can see my energy is fading pretty quick here. Nine riders. I'm going to slow it all the way down to an 80 here. And I might actually go to maintain position a little bit. It's down to seven riders now. I'm going to ease up here. Try to recover a little bit. Seven riders. Two coming back at us. Because nobody's picking it up. But I am recovering. So recovering through this flat section. Nobody wants to attack. They're all waiting for me to, to pull back up to 10. 11. Vanduul's too far down. He's two minutes down the hill. So at some point I do need to accelerate again if I'm going to win this thing. A minute 12 to four riders behind. Vanadool is one of them. That would put us back up to 16. Guaranteed most of these guys are not recovering. Ah, uh, Vanadool has no energies. Let's go. Here we go again. Forty K from the finish, ten K from the top. Riders starting to fall out the back again. Let's make this last though. Let's do a seventy nine. Bandy duels dropped. I'm down to eleven. I can open up gaps real quick, even riding easy. So let's do that. Let's just ride easy. See, I'm still riding guys off the back. Back to nine again. And back to no energy, so let's recover. Eight riders. Gull's still here, by the way. And I know I'm doing damage to them as they continue to drop off, but I ease up and they come back. I'm going to have to attack. Here's Gaul moving forward. I'm going to have to try to attack, which my hill rating is only one below my mountain rating, so I can push a little harder. It's 5k to the top. Banner Duel is two minutes down in the next group down the road. I might just end up with a group finish here, which doesn't necessarily favor me. But I've got just about enough energy now to try to attack this group again. And we're, this time we're going to actually attack and force them to chase. A rider just launched an attack. Okay, there we go. And now we ride at an 84. Can they catch me? Or will they blow up trying to catch me and then fall apart? instead of using my slipstream. There's Gaul leading the chase, see? He's forced to give chase. Gaul has left the others behind. It's just him now, but I'm almost out of energy. I'm also almost to the top. Gaul's about to catch me. There's the top. It's a group of seven now. I want the points over the top though, so we're gonna just do that little bit of effort and ease up now. There we go. Points over the top. Got it. That competition easily won. So we've got seven riders now. Uh, Leak Sund, seventh overall. Yeah, look how tired he is. Well, I'm pretty tired too. Gaul. Tunis. 
ampersand FOSS yeah, see FOSS never did any of the work but he is more tired stamina wise but it's a shorter stage it's not a long long stage so that's why the stamina doesn't have a, as big of an impact now these guys are coming back at us so at some point I'm gonna have to make some sort of effort uh, still at 25k let's grab water while we're just here in the group Uh, Van den Duel is only a minute away. I'm going to let him come back and then I at least have a lead out man to the bottom. So put us back to 16 riders. Stage win is going to be hard to come by now. Wow, it still has not given me water. Even though I put my hand up ages ago. There's Van den Duel. We're at that 16 now. Still is not giving me water. Put my hand up like 10k ago. There's water finally. A rider is down. Switch backs down the mountain. Watch out! A team leader is falling behind. Oh, somebody fell. Apparently, Reese. A little bit of a flat section here. A lot more pace now that Van Duel's in there, so nobody else is going to catch us. Reese isn't going to catch us. He's lost two minutes just like that, so it's 15 riders to contest. I'll get a lead out from Van Duel, which uh, I don't know anything about his sprinter acceleration. As a climber, he probably doesn't have much of anything. He might have a little acceleration. That would be a boost for me. Just, I'm gonna have him attack that final climb and then I'll attack from there after he's exhausted. So 15 riders to contest it out. Only 10 kilometers left. Starting to come out from the throes of the mountain. Almost to the bottom. Still descending. But we're definitely starting to emerge out into the hills away from it. Better get back in order. It's just 6k to the end here. Five K banner. Almost there. Now there could be an attack here. I need to I need to set this up now. We'll need him to have a ton more pace than he had, but he needs to have a little bit. So we'll set him to an 83. Oh, see, they're already starting to attack. Set him to an 85. Use my gel. Set him to an 87. To a 91. To a 96. Okay, 99. Go, Vanduul. Go, Vanduul. 1k to go. I'm getting that strong lead out here. All right, there's my sprint. Emergent the out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. So close. I'm out of energy. Will I hang on? I've got the lead. I've got the lead. Can I make it three from four? I do. Jefferson takes second. That was largely due to uh, Van de Duel's efforts. And sorry, I forgot to have you sprint yourself for uh, a minor placing. But he gave me a good lead out there. We're waiting for the tail enders who continue to arrive. He just kept me fresh halfway up the hill. So those guys were already trying to attack, so they didn't have the ability to full sprint. I couldn't sprint for long, but I had just enough acceleration coming off his wheel to push. And just get that couple bike lengths. And that was enough. So three stages. One out of four. And then I get the overall victory. So that actually counts as four victories. 
to go with the entire one of our career prior to that moment. But, of course, it was an under-23 race. That was an easy job compared to the normal. The best moments of the day. Look at that. Triple achievements there. So, in the end... It doesn't really matter. No, we're not Linden Park. Uh, so, 10 guys at the end, plus the other group through 15. 21 seconds down, small split there. In the overall, I win by over a minute over Gal Felix. Shepperson, seven minutes down. Foss, 7 11. Farika, 9 12. Lechnison in sixth. Is over 10 minutes behind. So, I could dominate the under 23s. Took the points. Took the mountains. Took the under 25s, of course. We did not take the team, though. We were only fourth there. So, I, I was blowing my team up to do what I needed them to do. That's still going to be important. First stage one in Continental worth 35 points. First of the... Overall was just good because it was expected. Winning the stage was good because it was expected. But then first in all those others makes it worthwhile for 70 points. Still not as much as it could have been. That's it. The game is very clear in its its manner of if you're a favorite, it's going to punish you a lot for failing. And it's not going to reward you much for doing what was expected of you. So it really does take into account where you are relative to the other riders. And I do like that. Adds to the challenge. There's definitely going to be some evolution of interest. And let's go ahead and push forward today and see how that is before we move on to our next race. But that's exactly halfway through level six. So yes, more evolution in interest. So let's see that evolution in interest. Going on the contract, I love that. 74 already. Kaha Rural, definitely up to a moderate level now. A lot of the others still in the red, but getting close to yellow. And many teams pushing into yellow. Of course, Medic would love to keep me, but. And they're offering lots of points. I'm not worried about the points. I don't need to change my schedule, so. Uh, so, that's, that's not a concern. So, I'm okay with minimal points. It's a good team, it's a strong team. A lot of good climbers. It'll put me into Continental Pro. So, looking forward to that. But that's a real boost as I've gone from one to five victories now. I don't think it was going to be worth a whole lot of points, though. Let's check that before we move on here. Yeah, Continental. 38th, but I only moved up seven spots. And in the Super Prestige department, I've actually dropped 48 places. And I have not gained any Super Prestige. So it was worth... you telling me it was worth Continental Points, but not worth... Uh, Oh, it was an under 23s, right? Little 
confused. Because it's not an official under 23s. It's not on this list. go. There it is. It was worth points. 400 super prestige points. I didn't get the 400 points. I'm still sitting on, what, 59 points right now. Okay, a little confused. little confused. Should have gotten 400 super prestige points there. Alright, well anyway, I'm going to move on to the next race. I'll check back in on that later. Maybe it's there. A couple days down the road. Is it ready to show up now? I should have like 459. And they still have me on 59 super prestige points. Shame. 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 It's broken. That was worth 400 points. I don't know. Alright, well anyway, uh, I have a little bit of time left, but not enough time to really start anything new. Uh, it's also going to save me a lot of time by not having to do any edits, any jump cuts. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one short, but there's plenty of content to come. Also, look out tomorrow, as I'm going to have a brand new Pro Cyclist career mode going and instead of a stage racer, it's going to be a cobbled classics writer that is adding to the channel. And with that new series, I'll have two career mode, two pro cyclist modes, four series. The only one once a day will be the 2018 career mode. Everything else twice a week. So between that seven days worth of pro cycling manager, meaning you'll get a new episode every day. But that's going to do it for this one. I'm Gathon Gamer. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe. And tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.